Hello ladies and gents, Ro here, and welcome to No Normal Films. Today we're going to be continuing our iMovie tutorials, and in the, one of the previous videos, uh, we had a question drop by, and I'm going to read the question and show you guys, by Gabby, I believe it is Malik, and uh, the question was, can you please do a tutorial on how to upload music and sound to clips? Now, what I believe he means is add audio, additional audio like music and background music, or add uh, sound effects or your own audio to the to your project. So what we're gonna do is gonna jump right into that. You know, open up iMovie, and uh, I said in the previous tutorial that we're gonna cover uh, video effects and sound effects in that tutorial, but I'm actually gonna cover that in the next tutorial. I know I keep putting it off. We will get to it, but for now I'm gonna answer this question here and hopefully this video answers the question so at the moment I have no audio like we've seen in our previous tutorials I completely turned down my audio in, in this video that way it's at zero now what I'm going to do is we're actually going to add audio and that way where you find your audio is down at the bottom left hand corner of iMovie the new version of iMovie you go down to your content library now in the old version of iMovie it used to be in this section here but now it's all, all your transitions titles and sound effects and audio effects are moved down to your content library. You go down to your content library, go down a little bit, you'll see iTunes, sound effects, and GarageBand. We're going to cover all three of these to, in this tutorial, iTunes, sound effects, and GarageBand. So the way you want to, if you want to add audio, let's say you can go to tide, oh no, iTunes, and we'll cover transitions and titles in a different tutorial later on. But here you are, you hit iTunes and it'll open up your iTunes library. You can go to music and it'll show all your music, music that you have and uh, this is your music and now like for this example I'm just gonna go to my music or you can go to one of your playlists if you want to find a specific song that you're looking for and you'll be able to find a song let's say I'm gonna choose uh, Thunderstruck by ACDC and uh, I'm not gonna actually play any of it because I don't want to get a copyright reason I mean copyright um, strike or copyright infringement on this video but just to let you all know if you're using music on your iTunes library or music that's been uh, copyrighted by another uh, an artist and they actually they're actually a popular band the you can only use 10 seconds of that music and put it on YouTube with so that if you don't want a copyright infringement on your video so I suggest you follow that, only 10 seconds. Any more than that, you will have a little copyright notice on the video, meaning that it's not following, it's going against YouTube rules, so it will be limited to where people can see the video. So now let's say, okay, this is the entire clip. You can either select the song right here and then simply drag and drag it, and it will be right in this audio area. You'll be able to drag and drop it and put it right in. Now before you put it in, you can click play and listen to a clip, or you can, like let's say you only want a part of the song, this is another cool feature in iMovie 10, is you actually see the entire song length, and you want you can play it from a certain section, and let's say you only want a part of it, you can simply drag and drag what part of the clip sound you want, you can hit just that plus button, and it will add it straight to your audio. Now I'm going to delete it for this at the moment, but... And uh, I have this, just I would only want this clip, you simply drag, and you drop it right underneath and I did select 47 seconds there when my clip is only 14 seconds so I'm gonna go down to 14 12 seconds you be able to drop and then select choose the clip where you want the clip to be and there you are now you have your audio inside of your clip or you can even place it down here for your audio but it's actually recommended you just place it right underneath the video and then you can adjust how loud it should be and how how like if you want it really loud or really low the volume of the of the song in the background or and then like the fade in and fade out of the song as well like you want the audio to fade in like I showed you guys in previous tutorials fade in or and fade out of the audio and then you could yeah like I said you can also actually adjust the audio in the song just in case you got a part that you want or you want it to meet meet your in all your your entire videos um, length your project's length. So at the moment, I'm gonna delete this, and there you are. There's how you get iTunes music onto your, I mean, songs onto your actual um, project. Now I'm gonna go down to sound effects. Sound effects is very simple. Just as 
just like iTunes, you have your selection. You can actually choose from different kind of categories of sound effects like fall explosions, animals, sounds, people, motion. There's just so much. There's like so much. Like I have Final Cut Pro as well, so I have uh, Final Cut Pro sound effects as well, which gives me a bigger variety. But let's say you're looking for something in particular. You just go to Effects. Make sure it's on effects, that way you search all categories and then go to the search bar and then search what you're looking for. Let's say pig. You type in like a keyword like pig and then you have a then you have a sound effect that pops up and it says pig grunt. Double click it and it will play. And uh, all the sound effects and all the folly and a little uh, jingles in this are not copyrighted so you can use any any one of these and you you won't get a copyright in, uh, copyright notice on your video on YouTube. So any of these are free to use as long as is it's in the sound effects and as long as it's sound effects that well it has to be make sure it's not a like a song that that has an artist behind it exactly but like like i said um it's all all these all the sound effects and the effects in here are, are going to be fine to use on youtube without any copyright need without any copyright notice so You'll be able to, yeah, these will be fine unless you added your own like iTunes music folder in here that other than that, you'll be totally fine. And then last one, last but not least is GarageBand. This is if you created your own beats, your own audio, you, you can put them to, uh, uh, and you created them through GarageBand, you go to GarageBand folder. Since I haven't created anything through GarageBand yet or used any kind of beat, beats and made any, any, any kind of music of my own, so I don't have any GarageBand, so mine's gonna it'd be empty. Now let's say you have a clip that you don't you didn't create you can't find you have audio that you can't find in iTunes sound effects or GarageBand and it's like an audio clip that you created yourself so it's it's just entirely you, yours. Now let's say you have it on the desktop. If you have it on your desktop and it's the right format, you'll be able to simply drag your audio file and then you'll be able to simply drag and drop it into your project. And it'll as simple as that. You should have any problem of it coding it right into your project. And I hope that answered your guys' question. And uh, I hope you guys uh, learned something in this tutorial. And if you have any questions, be sure to ask me below. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial where we're going to cover uh, video effects and audio effects and that sort. Later.